Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andrew again. Uh, last time I showed you how to measure the frequency response to your infinite baffle subwoofer using the Room EQ Wizard software. Uh, now the best part about this software is it will automatically uh, set up your uh, EQ filters for your uh, BFD with just a few simple clicks of a couple buttons. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. Uh, here is a frequency response graph measured from the left side of my couch. If we go over here on the left uh, column here, we can see the bottom option is filter tasks. Uh, under here you'll see find peaks and it gives you an option of a hertz range. I set mine uh, at the lowest 10 to 80 which is where uh, my subwoofer is crossed over to my mains. And if you click find peaks it'll come up with a little uh, table here of all the peaks that it found and then you click assign filters and it will assign filters for each of those peaks and if you go up to the tools menu and then go down to EQ filters it'll have the filters here for the, uh, the BFD all set up here it's found six filters in this in this particular graph that it should apply and it will tell you uh, for each filter it'll tell you the frequency uh, both the major adjustment and then the fine adjustment of a plus or minus It'll tell you the gain, um, uh, which which will always be a minus because we always want to uh, cut higher higher uh, higher response, not try and boost our response. And then next to the gain is the bandwidth, which is how wide the filter will be. Um, so then, if we go over to the BFD here, uh, we start in uh, mode five, and we go ahead and we click on the button filter select. Uh, using the rotary dial we can select filter number and we'll go to number one and then we'll click over to frequency uh, it's set to 20 as the major frequency and then the fine frequency you can click down here this one's set to zero but you can s set it to plus or minus depending on what the uh, BFD uh, uh, what the uh, room EQ software tells you to do and then there's bandwidth this one's set to four and uh, then there is the gain we're set to negative 22 here, but again, you can adjust that. Uh, when you're all finished and you've got your frequency, bandwidth, and gain all set up, then you want to click the store button twice, and that will store your filter. Uh, now you can go again to filter select and select the next filter up and repeat the process. Uh, when you're all finished, you should have one red light for each filter. Uh, I currently have nine filters set, so I've got nine red lights. And uh, if you uh, remeasure your response again uh, with these new filters in place, you want to make sure that the in out button is on to turn the vil filters on. Uh, then you should get a corrected uh, frequency response, and hopefully it's a flatter curve and uh, will work better for your system. So, good luck.